This is how you know we've matured too, <laughs> is that we went to the Masters instead of Coachella. I have to be honest with you, as a, as someone who has never been to Coachella, I think I'm still good. I would have wanted to have gone and seen Beyonce. Harry Styles. Harry Styles. I saw both. I didn't get to go to those. But I, seeing everybody at Coachella this weekend, I was like, oh, God, exhausted. The only one that I was like sad about not seeing was Renee Rapp. Mm -hmm. Love Renee. She brought out we Kesha. Her. her outfit yeah. was a sleigh. She played on, I think, the main stage. I wanted to root for her. I'm rooting for her. We're rooting for you. I saw that Kesha changed the lyric. Waking up, waking up, up in, in the, the morning, morning feeling, feeling like P. Diddy. Diddy. She changed it. Okay, what she changed it to? I don't know what she changed it to, but I did see that she changed it, yeah. and the crowd went wild. Good for her. you know what, P. Diddy? Your time has come. Time's up. Time's up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We can't legally we can't say anything else. We can't say anything else. But if you have not watched <laughs> Nancy Grace on I'm obsessed with Nancy Grace, okay? She's a Georgia girl. The way that Nancy Grace has been covering, I think she came out of retirement to cover Did this she? P. Diddy case. You need to watch. I saw somebody splice together. Because I noticed it the other day when I was watching her go in depth about the P. Diddy case. Somebody spliced together all the times that she says his name. And she's like, she looks directly into the camera and she already has kind of like yeah. bug eyes. And she's like, Sean P. Diddy. Cones, Sean, also known as AKA Puffy, Sean, P. Diddy, Puffy, like the Diddy, way yeah. She puts also, his name with together. All the names, Too so many, many names. names. You should have known he was up to something bad because he is he was changing I mean, his name. He was already try. I mean, he was already changing personalities. Yeah, we weren't confused. One minute he's P. Diddy, next minute he's Puffy. Puffy. Then he's P. Diddy. Next then he's, he's Sean Combs. Then he's Diddy. Then he's Sean. It's too many names. It's too many. Figure it's out your identity. Many. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, I wasn't, I didn't have an in, like, besides Renee, I didn't care about Coachella one bit, and I used to go every year, and I'm happy for everyone that went. It's yeah. just not for me. And listen, I'm not turning my back on music, and I'm not becoming a, a heterosexual by going to the golf tournament. I was scamming left and right mm -hmm. for a daddy at the golf tournament. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was trying to find the gays. There was, that one guy was so cute. So cute. And I, we don't know what his sexuality was. He was tall. He was Irish, I think. Mustache. He was wearing a little cute bucket hat we met him last year but he doesn't remember us mm -hmm. and but that's what i was looking for but i knew i wasn't gonna find him at coachella because they were all gonna be pilled out however i do think that we may have met your future mother-in-law oh yeah oh, okay. i forgot about that so we were sitting outside on one of the uh, only patios only a, patios where Augusta, you can sit outside the main concession stand we're sitting you have share. You have to share a table, no matter where you go. That's the nice thing too is you're not on your cell phones. It you is do get to meet there is a community. There is a community. Yeah. So we were sitting down, and these two lovely ladies sat down, and they used to run HR for the whole tournament. Yes. And we will not say anything else about that. Yeah. They were very. They did not. Spill. But also, they didn't really spill the tea. They did not. Spill I the tried tea. to get them to spill the tea, and all she said, "If you can imagine it, it's happened." Yeah. She didn't tell me. She didn't break any code. She she kept that NDA tight. She was southern. Yeah. She was eating a pimento cheese and having a white wine, mm -hmm. and she said that you need to look up her son. And in I, New York, I, well, she was yeah. talking. I, I, she said, "Where do you live?" And I go, "Oh, I live in New York. I live in the West Village." And she was like, "Oh, my son Don't works around works. there." Yeah, uh -huh. I'm not gonna say where he works. He mm -hmm. works around there. And then she told me, and I was like, "Oh," and I said, "Oh, um, is he single? I have a bunch of girlfriends who are always looking for like a guy. If he's a good guy, you seem lovely." And she's like, "He's not for the women." And I said, "Oh, yeah, uh huh." And we walked away and I said, I think you just met your future mother-in-law. Uh, simultaneously. And I said, mm -hmm. she goes, go to the store and check him out. And I said, I might. Could you imagine if that you become the ultimate master scammer mm -hmm. because you end up marrying into a family whose mom used to do <laughs> HR for the tournament. And that's how we get clubhouse access. I mean... Yes. That's I, how it's going to be I mean, through of, marriage. Of course. You scom your way in so deep that you are legally and religiously bound to another human being. Yeah. I mean, I could. I could. I really could. I mean, I did enjoy sitting with my future mother-in-law, if that's who she is. And I, she sat down, and I immediately started talking. And you, if you really know me, I'm shy at first. Mm -hmm. I'm usually not the first one to speak if we've never met before. Yeah. I'm usually, like, more reserved and quiet. That's not – that's how I am. But with her, I was just like, you know, this is a community. I have no phone. She asked to sit. And I said, oh, my God, look at all of your little accoutrement. What's your master story? It is. It's what's your master story? You I, get everyone's story. It literally. How did you get here? How did you acquire tickets? Yes. Is this a generational thing? Yes. Have they been passed down through grandma, grandpa? Yeah. Who is your favorite golfer? Why do you come? Why? Where do you stay? I literally, this one woman who we met who was um, 
in the community, in the golf community by marriage as well. She was like, so why do you come to the golf tour? Well, what, what brought you down this year? And I was like, well, actually it was in flux. I didn't have tickets. It was unclear. I was like, thought I had tickets and then I got messed up. But I was like, oh, I originally came because my girlfriend wanted to come. Her husband's such a golf bro. And I, that's why I just started coming and I love coming. And so it just has turned into a thing. And mm-hmm. she was like, oh, wow. She's like, have you ever played? And I go, nope. Yeah. She's like, good for you. Good for you. Good for you. And she's like, do you know what's happening? I go, I do. He just birdied. Uh Uh-huh. And she was impressed. It is fun. When people are doing well, it's fucking fun. It's fun. That part is fun. Yeah. When they're not doing well, it gets dark. It gets dark. Very quickly. It gets real dark. But can I tell you, this is how you know golf is so fucking hard. You have people, I mean, these are the top guys in the entire world. That's the only way you get invited to the Masters. Yeah. And, and. That 40 of the top guys did not even make the cut, which means you played well enough in the first two days then to make it to the top right. um, through the last two days of the tournament, right? And I'm looking at this. I'm like, I know that this is a, a top 10 player in the world, and he's in the fucking woods right now. You yeah. know what it makes me feel better? About when I'm at Riviera playing with Kevin Hart in a couple weeks, and I'm going to be decked out in master's gear just stuck in a sand trap for three rounds. Are there going to be snacks there for you? Oh, there better be. Like, what are you going to eat? I'm stressed. Where are you going to do-do on the course? I don't know. I'm going to have to do-do beforehand. Well, you got you to text people and figure this out. I also, I'm not allowed to bring anybody. Riviera, oh, I wasn't, I don't think I was supposed to say where, did I already say where I was playing? I think so. Okay, it's fine. I'm playing at Riviera, which is a very hard course to get on. And yeah. Jeff is very upset that he is not going to be able to even come. I'm yeah. not allowed to bring anybody. Not a friend, not a buddy, not my own caddy, uh, nothing. Well, you'll be fine. You've always been fine on your own. I'm just more worried about like where are you gonna pee? Mm. You know? No, no they like have while bathrooms. you're while you're playing. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Oh no, they have bathrooms. Okay. They're hidden away though. Okay. Yeah. So like when you're playing at them, I mean Are you gonna have to push your own little bag? No, we're gonna have caddies. Okay, you're gonna oh we're gonna have a caddy. Yeah, I have a caddy. Oh. Do you get to pick? Um, I don't know if there's like a lineup, but I'm like, I want the third from the right. I want David. No, I, I don't think I get to, No, I don't think I get to pick. They just, uh, they set, just set you assign. up the caddy. They assign, the club assigns. Yeah. Okay, cute. Yeah. Are you going to walk the whole thing? Yeah. But oh. I enjoy walking. When you're not, when you're walking directly up the fairways, it's actually quite comfortable. It's different. It's different when you're like us and we're- On the sides and it's a hill. And yeah. And we're slipping in the pine straw. Uh-huh. Exactly. Yeah. And then Jeff was wearing golf shoes one day and I was like, honestly, I mean, he looks like a, a loser. A loser. But it makes sense because he's gripped in. He's literally gripped in. He's gripped in. Y'all, he wanted to look so fresh and so cool. He brought a pair of <laughs> capri. Linen, linen pants, pants that he wore on his honeymoon and he wanted to wear them out to the course and he walked out the, he walked out the door and we screamed no absolutely fucking not Jeff go put on your regular Peter Millar khaki pants what the fuck are you doing and he's like I want to wear these I said they're fucking capris you only wear those with a Gucci loafer it was interesting too seeing him wear a sweater tied around his shoulders every the cashmere day cashmere on the 85 degree day yeah, yeah I was like that's a choice also you're not this preppy so this is we don't know where we pulled this one out of. Yeah. You know, I don't know how we pulled this rabbit out of the hat, but it was a look and he tried. You know what? I respect him for trying. He's yeah. trying to keep up. Jeff is pretty preppy though. Is he, he? Yes. He wears Nike Air Force Ones, though, but Jeff has the same uniform. A nice pair of Levi jeans, his Nike Air Force Ones, or Gucci loafers, right? Okay. That's what he wears to dinner. If he goes to dinner, he wears a dinner jacket or he's wearing like a, a, a golf shirt. I mean, have you seen the man speak? He's not preppy. I've seen him speak? Yes. Well, yeah, he's a, he's New York as fuck. Yeah. yeah and he didn't think he is. <laughs> yeah. He kept saying, we were like, Jeff, what what is this? Why don't you wear a, a performance gear shirt? Because it's going to be really hot today. And he goes, no, I want to wear my cotton. You know, cotton. He co- Cotton. How do you say cotton? <laughs> he goes, cotton. Co- cotton. He goes, I'm going to wear a cotton polo. And I go, what's a cotton polo? And, and we're, we're like, like, cotton? Cotton. Cotton? And he's like, no, cotton. cotton. I'm aware of cotton. It's cotton. Like, like, it's like he gets a fat tongue. Salmon. Yeah. yeah. Cotton. Almond. Yeah, he says cotton. And he goes, Eden. Eden. What are we eating? And I'm like, what's Eden? Garden of Eden? What do you mean, Garden of Eden? And this man listens to a podcast at 1.5, and he says the word Eden for Eden. I am horrified. Also, if you're, if you're a speech therapist and you're watching, we are looking for one. 